I don't know what your experience with the New Testament has been up to now. It might be interesting to share that with other students in the class and find out what their experiences have been as well. Christian students have probably read parts of the New Testament or heard them read in church settings and faith contexts. Others have probably heard the New Testament quoted or referred to from time to time. When, where, why could all be interesting questions to consider. In this chapter, we will learn that the New Testament contains 27 different books. They are books of various types and kinds. We will find out what sort of books make up the New Testament, and we will learn why these books are included rather than other ones. And then we will take a quick look at the different ways in which scholars study the New Testament. This will probably be new information to most of you because studying the New Testament in an academic context is different from reading it in a spiritual context or from a perspective of faith. I don't want to overstate that difference. Many people do find that studying the New Testament in an academic way can be spiritually rewarding. But you don't get academic credit for just doing what Christians might do in a Sunday school class. Mm -hmm.